The Knicks have declined Derrick Rose's team option for next season worth around $16 million. So Rose becomes a free agent and the Knicks, there was some thought that they would pick the option up because Rose's expiring contract would be valuable as a trade chip. But maybe this suggests that they don't have anything on the front burner here in terms of trades. By declining this option, the Knicks also will have access to that non-taxpayer mid-level exception, which is around $12 million. So they'll be able to offer that to free agents. If they had picked up the option, they would have had access to not to that exception to a lesser exception so gives them a bigger exception to use in free agency uh, rose obviously was integral in getting the knicks to the postseason in 2020 2021 uh, he was hurt the following season and this year he was taken out of the rotation by tom thibodeau early in the year uh, the knicks took off with that nine-man rotation that thibodeau established but rose i mean a lot of Knicks say he can still play. Julius Randle was on Paul George's podcast recently saying that Rose can, can still play. So I wouldn't expect Rose to retire. I would expect Rose to hook up with the team because in the right situation with consistent minutes, I think he can still impact winning. So uh, look for Rose, I believe, to continue to, to seek out other opportunities here in the NBA. But for the Knicks, declining the team option on Rose's deal, giving them access to that bigger mid-level exception in the offseason.